I am using the Windows 11 operating system on my laptop for more than two weeks now and I am quite confident enough to say this Windows 11 is quite better than I actually thought. There are some features that makes this Windows 11 operating system so special and I really impressed with those features and also at the same time I found some issues and bugs on this Windows 11 operating system that need to be fixed and I'll be talking about all those issues and problems in this video and at the end of this video I will tell you whether you should update to Windows 11 right now or you should stick to Windows 10. So I spent more than two weeks using this Windows 11 operating system and the first thing that strikes me the most is its new start menu. This is the one area where Microsoft completely redesigned everything. After so many years of updates, I can now say this start menu is much better than all the start menus which Windows had earlier. You go back to Windows 10, Windows 7 or even Windows XP start menus, they are not that user friendly, especially the Windows 10 one was terrible. But in Windows 11, it is easy to find any apps that you need. It is more like a mobile version where you can see all the apps clearly right in front of your eyes. There is also a recommended section that helps to find the recent applications. Also, if you click on the more options, you will get all the recent opened applications. And also, you can adjust the position of these apps by simply dragging their position. The search bar on the top was originally not included in the first update but with the recent 22000.65 update they fixed that problem and provided the search bar at the top. I think having a search bar at the top helps to find the applications quite easily. Other than the start menu, Microsoft hasn't really changed much in the other areas. If you look at the file explorer, the basic structure of the file explorer remains the same. The sidebars are same and the file system also remained almost same. But we can notice some changes in icon designs. They got some unique color combinations but seriously, I don't like these colors at all. I mean, it doesn't look good for me. By the way, I like the way they just replaced the whole top bar with the new one. The Windows 11 one looks much neater and cleaner where you can find all the important options quite easily. It is minimal and quite useful to work with. The Windows 10 one just had too many options on the top bar. That makes it too much complicated to operate. Also, the snapping feature is quite useful. Now in Windows 11, we have more control to arrange all the files. This is very helpful while working with multiple files. So managing and arranging multiple files is quite easy now. This feature was clearly missing in Windows 10. Also, I like the fact that Windows 11 is more focused on multitasking where you can create multiple desktops quite easily. This feature was also available in Windows 10 but was kind of hidden but in Windows 11 it was located right at the taskbar, makes it easy to access. And switching between the desktop is quite easy. You can also name each desktop by double clicking on the top text. Also note that the theme and settings that you choose on one desktop will not be applied on the other desktop. So you can use the light theme for your work desktop and the dark theme for your gaming setup. The setting panel is the other area where we can see some major design improvements. Yes. If you open the settings panel, you can notice straight away it is arranged nicely and you can easily find all the settings you are looking for. In Windows 10, whenever you peek into any of the settings, you have to press the back button, come back to the original setting options and find the another setting panel. It's kind of going back and forth action and it is quite frustrating to find the right setting options. Now with the new redesigned settings panel, look how easy it is. I just have to click on the settings settings that I want to change and I can easily navigate all the options available on the settings. I really like this spacing in between the options and the text. In Windows 10 it looks like bunch of text just put together and it is quite difficult to understand. In Windows 11 you can see redesigned Microsoft Store where you will get the access for Game Pass from Xbox. In Windows 10 you have access to only few games and apps and now in Windows 11 you can access Xbox games from your Game Pass. Also, I like the fact that the store is arranged much better than the Windows 10 one. So 
thumbs up for that. The big selling point of Windows 11 is bringing the Android apps to the Windows so that makes it easy to operate any apps that you use on your phone to your PC. Now you can access apps like the Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp etc on your PC quite easily. So these are the good stuff Microsoft has done with Windows 11. But there are some areas where I saw some major disappointment and things should have been better in Windows 11. The first one is this old school settings and icons still continue in Windows 11. I think these are designed way back in Microsoft launched their first operating system. I can understand these are not so regularly used settings but this could have been better instead of maintaining the same icons and the font style. I most often see lags or slowdown while using the Google Chrome browser. It wasn't the same while using the Windows 10 but in Windows 11 I see some lag while using the Chrome browser. But interestingly I didn't see any lags or issues while using the Microsoft Edge. Maybe this thing will get fixed when Microsoft release their final version. I also did not like the fact that Microsoft use Edge as a default default browser for everything. If you are watching any news or reading articles from the widget section and a notification tab, it will take you directly to a Microsoft Edge. If they would have given the option to choose between the Microsoft browser or the other browser, things could have been better. So overall, I am quite happy with this Microsoft Windows 11 operating system. It is much better than the Windows 10 one. This is still a beta version. So we are still looking for the final version to launch from Microsoft. So if you are using Windows 10, then uh, my recommendation is don't switch to Windows 11 yet. So when the final release will come, you can switch back to the Windows 11. So these are my final thoughts on this Windows 11 operating systems. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment sections below. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video.